All right, now we're gonna hear about the Colangio Connect um, initiative from the uh, Colangio Carcinoma Foundation. And we have um, Debbie Rose and Carla Boyden who are going to present to us. Um, Debbie Rose is a three-year survivor of intrahepatic cholangio carcinoma from my hometown, Nashville, Tennessee. And Carla Boyden was diagnosed with HEC hyalur cholangio carcinoma in the spring of 2021. Um, and they're gonna come talk with you about the program. Good morning. My name is Debbie Rose. I'm a cholangio carcinoma patient from Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, I'm Carla Boyden. I am a cholangio carcinoma patient from Las Vegas, Nevada. Carla and I had been friends for a couple of years now, but only a couple of days ago did we actually get to meet on the first day at conference. And we're going to share with you our story of how we connected. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, um, April the 1st, was my three-year anniversary of being diagnosed with intrahepatic cholangial carcinoma phase 2. This gives a new meaning to the phrase April Fool's Day. This was diagnosed by an incidental fine dealing with persistent back pain. I had recently retired, and of course this was in the early days of COVID. It was determined my tumor placement prevented immediate surgery. And after testing, consults, and referrals, I began Genesis treatment <clears throat> at Sarah Cannon Cancer Center. Some of you may not know that Sarah Cannon is the real name of uh, Minnie Pearl, who was in the Grand Ole Opry. She uh, was diagnosed herself and was very instrumental in supporting cancer treatment. Thankfully, after six months of treatment, my tumor had shrunk enough to recommend my resection surgery in October of 2020, which was successful with clear margins, which makes me two and a half years in ED. <laughs> I only became acquainted with the foundation several months into my treatment, which became a game changer for me. I immediately contacted them, spoke with Melinda. She sent me a box of excellent folders, which I shared with my oncologist and the nurse practitioner, asking if they please have that on hand to share with any of their current patients or um, any newly diagnosed. I saw the slide yesterday, Stacey's slide, about how patients are referred, and the doctor referrals was way low. And we want to work to change that. <laughs> uh, last year, my first attendance, um, I met a caregiver from Nashville, and our passion in, is working with the foundation to get the folders in the right hands and make it more available. <clears throat> As I begin to recover from treatment and surgery, I joined the patient Zoom sessions once a month. I viewed the streaming sessions of the 2021 conference. And finally, after seeing several notices of needs for mentors, I contacted the Colangio Cadet Program coordinators. And while not feeling particularly qualified, I offered to serve as a mentor. Patty and Cindy offer so much information and encouragement to help get started. They truly have the gift of encouragement. Fortunately, one of my first assigned mentees was this young lady named Carla. From the beginning of our connection, she was so full of sunshine and optimism. Most of our visits and calls left me feeling uplifted. She shared how she was determined to continue doing the things that she enjoyed with her family, even making short trips. I was so impressed that she continued her regular work schedule even with her treatments and appointments. This encouraged me that I should make efforts also to continue participating in the important events in my life. Buy the shoes, take the trips, and as a friend of mine encouraged me, I can actually start to buy green bananas. After about 18 months of becoming friends with Carla, I touched base again with Patty and asked uh, Carla if she would consider becoming a mentor herself, and she can tell you more about that process. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> 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 
Let me first begin with my journey. It started in May of 2021. I was diagnosed with stage four hilar carcinoma, also known as a clad skin tumor. After the initial shock, I immediately want to know more about the diagnosis and what I defined as the three W's. The what is it, where is it, and why did it occur? Now, while I was in the recovery room, I had my cell phone, I was looking for information. One of the residents, physicians looked over at me and said, don't Google cancer, it will just take you down the rabbit hole. Well, with or without Google, I went down that rabbit hole because I was on search for as much information as I can find. However, as the days progressed, while originally being treated um, with Jim Cisabraxane and multiple scans, I had less and less energy. And I was beginning to feel sorry for myself. Well, my daughter Cassandra suggested that I reach out to the foundation just so that I can get more information about what was going on with my cancer. But I was nervous to do so. Well, little did I know, I had to accept my new normal. I was nervous at first because not knowing what to expect of this diagnosis, um, it just really hit home, came to a point where, you know, sometimes you feel like you don't want to go on or just know more and just, you know, because like I said, of the new normal. Well, my daughter Cassandra, unbeknownst to me, reached out to the foundation for me and I didn't know. Well, one day as I was sitting around, I was talking with my family. My dad said to me, no, Carla, you have to continue to live because life is to be lived. And hearing that reignited, reignited a spark within me to do the things that I enjoy doing. Well, one day as I was sitting around checking emails, I happened to look and I found one that came from the Calangio Carcinoma website. And so while I was looking through the website, it said that I had a mentor. And that's when I learned that my daughter reached out to foundation for me when I was telling her, no, 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 don't do that. Because you know, you want to know, but you don't want to know. <laughs> well, one of the emails I received was from my mentor, Debbie. And here's a snippet of what it said. My name is Debbie Rose, and I am a fellow warrior who is glad to connect with you about this journey we find ourselves on. I'm interested in what things have happened since the diagnosis. I am interested to learn what your journey is like. I am glad to learn what I can from this Calandro Carcinoma Foundation. Have you been able to participate in the patient Zoom meetings once a month provided by the foundation? I have not personally met a patient who has been diagnosed with a Calandro Carcinoma. I look forward to learning about your journey and I'm happy to answer any questions about my experience so far. With Hope Debbie. Now just one email opened up a greater sense that there was someone out there that can relate to what I was going through and that I wasn't alone. I am grateful to be standing here with my patient mentor, Ms. Debbie Rose. Through our shared experience, we have formed an unbreakable bond and friendship. It has also been an honor to be referred and selected as a patient mentor with Calendro Connect program. I have now mentored for five months now, and I strive to encourage, support, and motivate all who are touched by this disease to keep moving forward and remind everyone you are not alone in this fight. <laughs> So today, if any of you here or those watching on the live stream have thought about giving back in some way, encouraging another person along your journey, whether as a patient or a caregiver, we encourage you to, to contact someone at the foundation, the Clangio Connect program, about how you might support this part of the foundation. We've been told that the numbers of requests that are coming in are increasing and there's always a need for mentors. We hate for them to have to wait. You may not think you're particularly qualified, but one of the best things you can do is to listen. I was raised in a family that was told you were created with two ears and one mouth, so you should listen twice as much as you speak. <laughs> so if you're a good listener, that's a good start. You do not have to be a trained medical person. You do not have to be a social worker. But if you care about people, this is a good place to start. None of us choose to be a part of this club. But it is a win-win if you can connect and encourage another patient and also be uplifted yourself. So in closing, I want you all to know I've been on this journey for 23 months and counting. 
and have been considered NED for the past year. <laughs> I would like to leave you all with a, this quote. Never lose hope. Tomorrow could be the day you've been waiting for. So in closing, Debbie and I would like to thank the Colangelo Carcinoma Foundation for the honor and privilege of speaking with you all today and sharing our story. And special thanks to Claire, Claire Condry with the Colangelo Connect Mentor Program. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.